Wouldn't it be great to have sheet music being displayed inside of Ableton Live on your computer screen, a second screen or even on your iPad? Yes, that's possible now. I created a Max for Live device or Max for Live devices for that purpose where you can get a a4 can load an a4 picture size portrait i have a landscape um, max for life device as well this is linked in the video description here as well so let me show you how you can set this up so first of all hi i'm toby from abletondrama.com i create max for life devices program stuff for people uh, custom stuff but um, stuff as well i sell online so this device is now available and let me show you how you can set this up so first of all you would need the sheet music display device so obviously you would need max for life to use those devices max for life is included in the ableton live suite version or can be bought as an add-on to ableton standard okay so now when you got this device you can open this in a midi track you can click open and this will open the window here and this is where you will get your uh, music sheet music being displayed this is where you will get your sheet music displayed there we go okay so obviously this is very small this is too small so you can set this up and change the zoom down below here you can um, drag your mouse up or down to change the zoom or you can put in numbers here as well so let's put in five for example and that's a bit too big so let's make this a little bit smaller maybe select 4.5 still a little bit too big so let's put in four for now that looks about right what do we get when we put in three too small so let's put in 3.8 maybe 3.8 so there we go we now have um an okay size here so you can drag and drop or drag this window on a second screen if you have one attached or if you're using an ipad via sidecar or via different apps you can have this window being displayed on an ipad as well so you now want to place this where you want to have this you can press s for saving the position of this window so now the zoom and the position of this window is being saved in this project so um, now let's let us fold down ableton live a little and now we can have this window here and we can have um, now stuff being displayed in here so for that we would need the sheet music pick device and um, we can use multiple devices of those but first let me explain you how this works with one device so first of all uh, most um, sheet music is in pdf so if we have a look here so for example i have all the small things blink 182 it's a pdf so it's multiple pages um, those devices or the max for life devices only can read jpeg and png files single files single pages files so um, now you would think oh shit i have to convert all my stuff into um, png or jpeg and actually um, there is a page where you can do this real quick you can just click on upload your files um first of all the url is whoops interesting the url is pdf to image.com so you click on upload your files and then you just select um i'm in the wrong folder wrong folder name the pdfs you want to convert to jpegs you click on upload now they're all uploading so you can have a lot of files and it's already converted three files i can now click on download all and they're being downloaded and this will look like this um, you will get a zip file if i double click on this i now get all those different files in here i uploaded so you will quickly get all your files um, from pdf to jpeg via this homepage. um cool so now let's say we have three or two songs here all the small things two pages and best of you from the foo fighters um, four pages in total so now we can actually select one of those folders and later on i will show you how you can put in 
a lot of songs into one folder here, which is nice as well. So all the small things, um, let's select this in the Ableton Live, Max for Live device here. You just click on folder and then you get a menu and it's asking you which folder to open. Let's take all the small things. Bam, and you can see it's already showing the first page here. We'll always load the first page per default and you get a menu where you can select those different um, pages. Yeah, you can now set this up to uh, being triggered via MIDI. You can um, set those buttons here, selecting the current or the next or the previous um, via MIDI or via key uh, commands. You can route MIDI directly in there if you want to use MIDI. So let's say we want to use C minus two for the current and um, let's set this up next to C sharp minus two. So now those two MIDI notes, um, let me quickly show you and let's set up the previous here as well. Um, sorry, need to set my MIDI keyboard right here. I'm using my computer keyboard as a MIDI input here. Um, you can even map those so you can press S. Now hit or press your MIDI button. If the MIDI is going into this track, it will detect automatically which note there was. So now if you um, hit a C minus two or a D minus two, you can toggle between previous and next here. So you can actually do this via your hand if you want to, but obviously you can automate this as well. So let's say we have a second song here and, and then we're gonna automate this. Um, you don't need to use um, a, one device for each song. I just want to show you how you can switch between devices. And later on I show you how you can actually um, take a lot of devices, um, a lot of pages into one device. Okay, so let's pick best of you from the Foo Fighters for the second device. And now I can select here as well the next page if I click on next or previous page. And I want to set those up via automations obviously and via MIDI clips here. So let's set um, some notes up here to trigger the right phase. So let's say we want to use um, MIDI clips for um, changing um, those different sheet music sheet music selections here. So let's say the first one, um, all the small things. And this clip needs to activate the device which is hosting um, all the small things. So let's call this all the small things. You can rename a device by pressing Command R or by right click and selecting rename. And let's call this best of you. So I now have those two devices and I want to automate um, the whole selection of the sheet music here. So first of all, I need to switch on the device with this clip here, automation. So if I go to the envelope section in the clip, um, device on, I just set a breakpoint here by clicking on this red line. I turn off the loop and then I want to put in a note for selecting um, the current page, always the first page will be selected selected automatically on reloading. So when I reload this Ableton Live set, um, the first page is being selected and I'm hitting this note here via this dummy clip, via this MIDI clip, I'm sending in this note to trigger um, this current page which is being selected. Um, and then I put in a second note here, a C sharp minus two for selecting the next page. So if um, <laughs> this is obviously a bit too early for changing the page here, but this way you can automate those pages if you need to. Okay, so um, let me just show you if those devices are being turned off. Now, if you play all the small things, for example, I play this clip, the device is being turned on and the first page is being selected. Was it selected? I couldn't see that. Yeah, all the small things. And then the next one 
um, is being triggered via this MIDI note here. So this is one way on how to do this. Um, obviously, I could now set this all up for best of view. Let's I quickly gonna do this. So I double click here just to create a MIDI clip. Um, I go to um, best of view, turning that one on. Automations, best of view, I turn this device on. And then I put in the notes for um, selecting the current, which is page number one, per default on loading the, the set. And let's name this clip. Um, let's call it the best. Simply the best. And I need to turn off um, this first device here, all the small things. So I'm going to show you a little trick how to do this a little bit quicker in a second. But just to understand the concept, you have to have one of the device you want to have to use and want to display all the sheet music. You need to turn this on and then send the notes in there. So obviously the other devices needs to be turned off. Um, and let's have this device here being turned off. And let's do the same for the other way around. So we have all the small things. Now, best of you, we want this to be turned off here as well. So now it's switching. One uh, clip is switching the first device on and the second off. And the second clip is doing this the other way around. So just to make sure notes are being turned on. Okay, cool. So if I play those clips now, all the small things, and then the second one, um, the best of you, you know, it's selecting the next slide. So if I have a third slide here, which I could see in my menu, yes, I even have four slides here. I could obviously set up more notes here to trigger even um, the third slide here. So C minus C sharp minus two is triggering the next slide here. So let's do this again, all the small things, second slide and the best just to show you it's triggering this one next page next page every c sharp minus two will trigger the next page so obviously if you have a lot of songs or a lot of devices in here um as i said before you don't need to set up um one device for one song you you can have more in there i will come to that later but if you have multiple devices in here you could actually use um, some MIDI routing here as well to make sure that you don't have to switch devices on and off all the time. So I could group this as well and um, set up some chain selection here. So if my first chain is all the small things and the second one is best of you, I could have um, via chain, chain selection having the MIDI being routed automatically only into one of those two devices. So this would be um, overcoming the problem here of having to turn off all other devices um, when you have this one device you want to select the notes from. But that's just um, the in theory because there is even a much better way um, how you can do that. Ah, just one more example to show you. Uh, yes, of course, this is all working in um, arrangement view here as well. So if you have a device here and they're all gone, where are they? Ah, okay. Um, best of you. Let's have this here and let's get rid of this. So obviously you can do this um, selection here of the different um, devices on and off and um, select uh, next or previous um, in arrangement view here as well. So you just need to um, put those on here, not via the buttons, but via those automations here, for example. Yeah. Okay, cool. So um, obviously it makes much more sense to have not 100 devices for 100 songs, but to have one device maybe for your whole first set. So um, let's say we have three songs here. I think I made a photo with, 
about three songs so let's do this again so we have the sheet music display device which we we'll obviously need but we take a new device and for the sheet music pick here so reload um, a new folder in here and i'm gonna um, load drum sheets set one so i have about uh, four songs in here i click open and now i have all those four songs in here and i could actually automate this real quick and easy a little bit easier if i go to the device sheet music pick and i have select chart and i have all the different names in here of the different pages of the different um, images um, i got in here and i can select and i'm just um, taking a few random stuff random things here so you can see now they are being selected via this um, envelope here same goes for arrangement and in arrangement i might be able to show you that a little bit better so let's select the sheet music pick device and select chart and we have all the small things here maybe select all the small things here page two so i just create a breakpoint by clicking on there and then i hold this and i drag my mouth up best of you foo fighters page one i can see that one jpeg just before the jpeg page two page three you know and if you are playing with ableton live live you have an arrangement where you're changing or you have different clips in session view where you're changing so you could set this up automatically and just have all the different sheet music being selected here automatically all the small things was already selected page one so now we're coming to page two bomb change here and let's quickly go forward a little so we're now best of you page one best of you page two and so on and so forth so so you are able to quickly set this up a full set obviously and this is something which is really important um, the whole folder structure so the whole files needs to stay the same so obviously um, if i change stuff in here if i delete stuff or change the order um, the whole device is syncing and automation wouldn't work so for example if i delete this folder obviously there is nothing nothing to 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 pick from so if i now have this playing and i have some changes nothing is happening so um, this folder needs to stay at this location when you set this up so make sure you have um those set up really clever and um you can always um take those um, MIDI information or those clips and put them somewhere else in your set so if you have four folders you just always keep them the same and then adding another folder when you add new stuff so just to make sure all the stuff is right there cool okay as I said before I have a second device which is um, for landscape stuff here so this is um, doing it this way and uh, it's a second device video description in the video description there is a link for that device as well and of course for this device here which can be bought on my page check it out ablenrama.com cheers and bye